On November 8th, the U.S. held the 2022 midterm elections, and it's been quite an exciting ride so far. With the second largest young voter turnout of any midterm in the history of America, how are young people feeling about this election? Women County had like 50% turnout. I know that historically the campus has um, good or high turnout rates of students. And so I think in that sense, I'm satisfied. Some students like Aaron Garcia never got the opportunity to vote. I wasn't able to vote because my ballot didn't come on time. While they may not have been very well advertised, WSU did have a contingency for this in the form of the Center for Civic Engagement. Well, the biggest thing that we do is we work with the county to put on the Student Voter Hub. Uh, that's two days, the day before the election and election day, uh, where we have a massive effort, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday, and then 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, where we have a full service voting hub where people, students and community members can register, they can vote, they can update their registration, anything that you can do at the county office, you can do upstairs here on campus. Now, most of you guys would be forgiven for not even knowing where the CCE is, but for those of you guys who don't know, it's all the way on the lowest level of the Cub, all the way in the back, way past Butch's Den. But it is a wonderful place to go during voting season, both for some information and, hey, if you vote, you'll get a free sticker. Even with the election over, we're still awaiting our final results. Reporting for Murrow News 8, I'm Reese Holmes with videographer Brody Duke.